What's going on, guys? Back with another late night discussion. You used to hear guys say this stupid stuff all the time. You hear a lot of guys talking about it's a numbers game. Well, I agree that it's a numbers game. But you know what? The game is only in favor of the best looking people. And if you see that you don't got what it take to play the game, might as well give up. That's my philosophy, and that's been my philosophy from day one. The dating scene is only in favor of the best-looking people, the people that came into this world looking like something. If you don't look like something, you don't even need to try. That's the truth. Confidence, believing in yourself, that comes from success. And most men who are attractive to women, they have confidence because they know women want to get them some pussy. So that's where their confidence and self-worth come from. But if you a man, you know women find you to be ugly. You know women ain't checking for you, never have been checking for you. you, you what the hell do you have to be confident about? Nothing. So I was just thinking to myself, yeah, the dating scene it is a numbers game, but why would I want to play the game when I know I'm going to lose? Why would I want to play the game when I know I ain't got what it take to execute? You might as well give up, sit on the bench and just accept being a failure. See, that's the type of mindset I got. And that's a realistic mindset. And one thing I had to learn and tell myself, being a loser is nothing to be ashamed of. Because God made some people losers. That's what I had to realize. God made some people losers. He created them to be a loser. Everybody didn't come into this world born to win. You know, my dad even told me that, you know, God don't love everybody. Why you think some people came into the world all effed up? Because God didn't love them. And, and see, one thing I notice about a lot of people, they want to give false hope. And religion, all religion is, is false hope. The preacher up in the pool pit giving you false hope. You know? And dating coaches are giving guys false hope as well. Oh, it's a numbers game, bro. You just got to continue to shoot your shot. Why? When I know I'm going to get rejected, I know I'm going to get insulted. I know nothing is going to work out in my favor. You might as well give up. And you have to look at patterns. If you got a history of being treated like crap, then chances are that's what it's going to be for you until the day you check up out of here. Because cycles tend to repeat themselves. And if you got a history of winning, you're going to continue to win. If you got a history of losing, you're going to you're going to continue to lose. Everybody wasn't built to win. And see, men who are successful with women, they'll try to gaslight you and tell you that it's your confidence and self-esteem to why you can't stick your penis in no pussy. But that's not the problem. It's just women ain't feeling you. They just don't find you to be an attractive man. You don't make that fish hole wet. That's the problem. And... Why would you be confident when you have no reason to be confident? You got to have something to be confident about. You got to have a reason to walk with your head up high. You got to read. You got to have a reason to feel that you somebody. You know, I just believe in looking at reality for what it is. And see, the beautiful thing about my situation is I had a father that told me I was a destined to fail from day one far as females was concerned see it's very and usually when parents tell you stuff like that they're really telling you things based on their experiences and what they've been through but the truth of the matter is the dating scene yeah it's it's a numbers game but uh every dude is not cut out for the game that's the truth every dude is not cut out for the dating scene there are some guys that women just don't want. Women don't like them. And I just don't see why some dudes would want to continue to try. 
oh, it's a numbers game. So I got to continue to pursue women. I got to continue to shoot my shot and get rejected over and over again. I mean, who wants to do that? Who wants to go out here and pursue women and get shot down time and time again? No one wants to do that. Nobody wants to do that. You just have to use common sense. And common sense is something that a lot of people tend to not have. And I never understood why a guy would want to put himself out there and continue to try when you know the outcome. You know more than likely things are not going to work out in your favor and things are not going to be good for you. So you might as well give up and don't do nothing. And people who are pessim people who are pessimistic are realistic. People who are optimistic are dumb. Optimistic people are delusional people. They're people who do not live in reality. They're not in tune with the real world. Optimistic people. That's why you got to be around people who look at reality for what it is. And as a man, if you see that women are not receptive to you and females have never been digging you, you don't need to continue to play this numbers game. Why would I want to play the numbers game when I know I'm going to lose? I know I'm not going to win. I know I'm not going to get nothing. So ain't no point in playing this numbers game. And... I don't blame certain guys for giving up on themselves. I don't blame some dudes for saying, you know what? I'm not going to pursue any women. I'm going to just give up on myself as a man and just accept that I'm a loser. Some people would say that that's a, a bad negative attitude. I feel that's a realistic attitude. If you see that things are not going good for you, you don't need to continue to try you need to continue to, you need to just give up and just accept being a failure. And some guys don't want to accept being a failure, but I've come to the realization in my life that being a loser is nothing to be ashamed of. Being a, being a F up is nothing to be embarrassed about. I've gotten to the point to where I embrace being a loser. And I feel men who are not being chosen by women should embrace being a failure. There's nothing wrong with being a loser. And don't let so-called alpha males try to shame you because women ain't attracted to you. You can't make women be attracted to you. And and, and I'm, I'm going to say this again. There's no such thing as alpha male. There's no such thing as beta male. There are men who are attractive to women and there are men who are unattractive to women. Simple as that. But um, I do agree with this whole philosophy numbers game, but I don't think every guy need to play the game because being real, every dude is not cut out for the game. Some guys wasn't cut out to get no pussy. They, when, the day they mama pushed him out of her vagina and the doctor cut the umbilical cord, they came into the world a piece of trash. So you got to think if you came into the world, your mama birthed you. She pushed you out of her tight pussy and the, and, the, and the doctor cut the umbilical cord and you came into this world. Some people came into this world effed up from day one. And uh, it is what it is. And that's what I had to realize. And I had a dude tell me this that I had a dude tell me before. Every dude wasn't cut out for the game. Every dude wasn't cut out to get females. And I totally agree. So I was just thinking about this whole philosophy of a numbers game. Every guy don't need to play the game because every guy is not cut out for the game. And that's the honest to God truth. <clears throat> and um, that's my personal opinion on this. You guys let me know what you think about this whole numbers game because, uh, Every guy ain't cut out to play this game. And that's the truth. But this has been another late night discussion. You guys have a good night.